Right. Right. Good we air them out the other two. They're basically 230 odd to oh. the front. Just launch that long oh. one way up and then try to get it to land softly. Oh. That will be awkward. Way through the hole. Like this is. Look out. Oh. So good. Let's just keep filling it up. It's a beautiful read. It's, it's a tough one to read up back there, as I've mentioned earlier. The off speed stuff is really impressive from Wyndham. You see, shut that follow through down. Try and control the distance. Yeah, very nicely done. Now quickly over to 17. Clark looking to join Fitzpatrick at the top of the board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very gratifying to make the two here. And we have co-leaders at minus eight. Now this is a laser right at the center. Yeah, beauty there from Wyndham. Gearing down a bit off the tee, we saw Fitzpatrick's ball almost run through the fairway. Oh, that's really well done. Yeah, I think that was the correct club. We'll drift back on the tee here. 534 yards away. As long as anyone out here. Uh, to me, that looked like the three would just go ahead, hit the high hook, send it down there. Saw the tee shot of Clark earlier at uh, the second. This from 233, carving one in there. And up against the collar. Well, he has a high level of trust and mm -hmm. faith in this club. He's one of the best in the business. Yeah, and you see the deep shade of green. So that was up that slope and into the grain and magnificently judged. Wow. Incredible. That was world class. And that's going to get Wyndham Clark to minus 10. And remember, Fitzpatrick is having issues up at four. He found the penalty area already. Looking to add another significant championship to the resume here this week. Back at three. Two Clark, shot of Wyndham Clark, Clark on the way. Go. Good shot. Yeah, very good shot. He's leading the field so far with 12 birdies and add to that total right here. Never better than 27th here through the years, Craig, but this is a different player. They agreed, and they love hitting drivers anyway. And that guy's never broken 90, but this one is perfect. Uh, he's got 80 yards left. Try and control the distance from 80 yards and let the slope take over. Uh-huh. And look at it. There you go. <laughs> that, that's helpful. The use of the mental coach's help, for sure. Four in a row, five out of six. Let's see if Clark can get this one up and in. Well, we've seen a lot of the golf ball. And uh, it, when that rough starts to lie down, it's, it's hard for the club to get through it. Boy, he puts the golf ball, wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, man. <laughs> this guy is something else. Back on the tee here at six with the leader. And he's hit the zone a lot. Force it down there. Back into the wind. So uh, 240, 250, 260. Left side of the sixth fairway for Wyndham Clark. And just 130. And Again, okay, another off speed with a wedge. Oh, a little unfortunate. You just don't expect the ball to dig in that severely and come whistling back. And a Wyndham Clark 
has gone absolutely nuts. This for Bernie at the par 4 6. Working a little right to left and right in the middle. What touch he's got right now. Strong power fade here. He pulled that one just a bit, but it's trying to come back. And just does, but will not have a great angle from over there. Steve will have plenty of club to get there in two, and he did get mud on the ball. Well, and also if you clip one branch up that left side, Kurt, it drops straight down. Yeah, this should be good. And we saw Jordan Spieth go up that left side, clipped a couple branches, came straight down in the bunker that runs alongside the layup zone in the ninth there, and it plugged, and he ended up making a six. So smart play. It is so soft in this front section, Kurt. A little left of it. Won't be in love with that, but uh, still a good chance to end with the red one. Well, this guy's going to have a chance, isn't he? Boy, what a good look to finish your day here. I have it going just slightly to the right, little downhill. And Clark moves to 14 under par. An amazing performance today. Backing up that 65 with another one. And his lead is five. A pair of 65s for Wyndham Clark. He seemed to be riding this wave of momentum both this season and this week. How would you describe those first two rounds? Uh, I mean, better than expected, to be honest. I was uh, really in a good zone out there. And, you know, today started off kind of challenging and birdied 17, which kind of gave me that jump start to have an awesome back nine. So, to be honest, I'm, I'm really pleased and a little bit shocked where I'm at right now. Well, you say better than expected. Why? Um... You know, I've, I haven't had my best, uh, my best at this course before and uh, in previous years. And, you know, I'm playing really good golf and I feel comfortable out there. And, you know, it's, it's hard to follow up a, a seven under on the first day with another one. So um, to be where I'm at is, is awesome. I talked to you on Wednesday. You told me the mind is a muscle. What part has the mental game played in your great success so far? Well, we were just talking before this that this golf course you have to be really mentally tough because the minute you let go like one little one little ounce and you lose your focus, you find yourself in a tough spot and can make a big number. So I was really proud of myself. I was really focused out there. And any time that I did maybe lose my focus, I was able to bring it right back to the present and hit good shots. Great plan. Good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Dan? Boy, it is a good-looking card for the second day in a row. For the 36, 16 birdies, just two bogeys, and that adds up to a 14-under number, just one off the 36-hole championship record. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.